This is Prime Progress News. Here are the topics that made headlines this week. President Bola Tinubu has appointed Olani Pekun Lukwede as a chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Presidential spokesman Ajurin Gilali announced this in a statement on Thursday. Mm. The appointment has stirred controversy over the candidate's qualification for the job. The leadership of the country's anti graft agency has experienced shake-up in the last few months since the assumption of president on May 29, 2023. Meanwhile, the Green Falcons of Saudi Arabia held the Super Eagles of Nigeria to a 2-2 draw on Friday in Portugal. All the goals were scored in the second half. The two goals conceded by Nigeria were an own goal by Francis Uzoho and a deflection of Calvin Bassi. Oh my goodness. You just couldn't believe it. It's like a movie right now because that right there, that's just like a simple save and it goes off his gloves into the back of his own net and that's just crazy. I mean, the goalkeeping search, I don't know if it continues, but this kind of makes it um, questionable. And next up, you get this moment, Victor Boniface, the turn, the shot is blocked. But an offside flag goes up. He was in an offside position before the ball came to him. And that right there does not count a free kick for Saudi Arabia. You get Saudi Arabia in the box. A great opportunity. But Calvin Bassi with a perfect block right there. As you see the layoff, the shot. But Calvin Bassi, and that's Abdullah al Haman, how the referee. Moses Simon on the ball. Tries to get it to Terry Murphy. Cut off. Then this happens. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And the National Election Commission of Liberia on Wednesday commenced the announcement of the results of the presidential election held on Tuesday. Former Vice President of Liberia and candidate of the Unity Party, Joseph Bokai, took an early lead in the first set of official results announced by the NEC chairperson, Davita Lanza. Counting is still ongoing at different collation centers in the country from where it will be sent to the NEC headquarters. Meanwhile, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has claimed tens of thousands of lives and displaced many millions of people and has its roots in a colonial act carried out more than a century ago. With Israel declaring war on Gaza Strip after an unprecedented attack by the armed Palestinian group Hamas on Saturday, the world eyes are again sharply focused on what might come next. And that's all in our news round this week. Follow us on our social media handles for more information.